Yo, what's good? This Talks Talk podcast. This your boy Hail Mary, and I know y'all out there grinding like butts in a Jamaican club for that Christmas. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's your boy C, and I'm the one to put the satin on your panties. <laughs> like Jesus say, them kids gonna get their criminal. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Noah, man. I'm ready to go, man. Hey, you already know how I'm coming here. We appreciate you coming back. The YouTube Talkers Talk Podcast 864. Subscribe, share, like. And anyway, you listen to audio, do the same thing. Let's get it. We got a guest with us. Tell them who you are, fam. What's going on, man? It's your boy Hollis. Chaotic South Hollis, man. Looking for the baddest of the baddest dogs. Get at me. <laughs> man, come, out, come straight out promoting. You know, you know what I'm saying? Sure, That's what you were looking for the bros. Oh, you were looking for the baddest, <laughs> right, right. Of the baddest dogs. All the way around. Hey, that dog can be a bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That would you rather have women? Or would you rather have a girl or a boy? As far as dogs? Yeah. What? It, uh, say it's the uh, same dog. And female, a male going to get, a male going to do what they do, but a female, you can do more, I feel. Oh, okay. okay. But it's deeper than just, she the one that can reproduce though, ain't it? Or is that, is that everything in it? She can reproduce, but it's about who she reprodu- reproducing with. You know, like, I can go and breed to you just because you got a dog. Yeah. But it don't mean I'm going to have the next level of dogs. Okay. Just because you got a dog. You're like, you got to, you're going to have to, you know, put it together. You have to. Now, I'm saying what make the girl dog better than the boy dog? Oh, okay, just a okay, little okay. bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I ain't talking about, yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't questioning your gangster yeah, no, on no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 so I, my biggest thing is females. Like I know females is what's going to take me to the next level of seeing how I can do this and do that. Like if I got a male, I got to wait for all these, everybody to bring their female to me. Like if I'm promoting oh, Okay, you stuff, waiting. Okay. You waiting. You waiting. It's waiting game, yeah. yeah. So nah. And then they might but, not even want to. But look, though, let's get into a. Uh, 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 Hold on, let me ask him this right quick while we still there. Like far as the point you be making about men and women cheating. I would think like can a can a male dog get a bunch of girls pregnant? Oh yeah, that's one like dog that's is. running the game right now. You gonna say he just he the only dog running the game? It's a lot. It's a I give it a good top five dogs right now that's running the game, and between them dogs, they either got five hundred to fifteen hundred puppies, mm. Off, offspring. You know what I'm saying? That's offspring. So. Like yeah, that one dog gonna spread them around. That's that's the thing about it. It's a preference. Where if yeah. we doing, we can't do incest as far as humans. But yeah. It's, yeah, that's that's what it is. Oh, that's a go game. with. It's, uh, a, it's in the yeah. game. It's a in line. They call it line breeding, inbreeding. So okay. that's how that's how the game mm. go. The dog game go. Yeah. And so I want to get into all that. I yeah. want to know that detail because it sounds like you got the information. Yeah, you know saying so. This gonna be this is the man. Hey, this, this the, the hey look. I know some lower level. What? Hold on. Hey. 
Don't get to talk about them two hundred dollar dogs. Nah, nah. <laughs> see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? No, you said niggas do, you know? Yeah, you know I mean, hey, that's what an ignorant nigga go get though. Like, like a nigga don't really know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those pits with them little heads. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you jumping in here thinking it's just a money thing? You can make your money. You can, like I tell anybody right now. Okay, if you jump in, just like say, if one of y'all want to breed dogs. Jump in it, but jump in it the right way. And I ain't gonna tell you you gonna have to spend at least ten a better on if you want to start out. It's just like doing the right thing. Like, but if you say I'm gonna spend, oh, I got ten k, but I'm trying to spend on five dogs. Nah, that ain't gonna get you nowhere. Right. Like you go, like it's gonna be one of them things where you are gonna run into them <laughs> low budget dogs. But if you <laughs> if you got that ten k to spend on one dog, like yeah, you gonna probably end see, up in a better position than trying to buy multiple dogs. Right, right, right. And with that ten K look hey man, I just know a few people that know a few people that did, did some dog breeding. So I know enough to be dangerous. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh if you gonna spend that ten K on that dog, but at upkeep, you got to have some money laying around but when you when you breeding them dogs too. That's 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 word. That's one. That's big. Though I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause one thing about it, you gotta you gotta realize what you're getting into. What you bring these dogs? Say you say you jumping in the game. You don't know don't know the back ends of it, but you know. Okay, but my partner making money. He doing what he doing. He got out eating off of it. But you not understanding what it took for him to get to this position, right, of making right. the money. So you jump in and thinking, okay, but I'm about to do this and do that, but not understand the upkeep of this dog, upkeep of yeah. everything that you. You get handled quick. You can say, well, I'm about to go and spend this and that on five dollars, but that five dollars about to cost you like what? You right. about to turn around and be like, what vet bills? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so, be in the hole. All that. It's like you got to realize what you about to have to put into them dogs after you get them in your position. So like that's real. Like the upkeep of them dogs, like that's one of the biggest things. If you if the if you're not ready for the upkeep, you might be ready to spend on a dog. But it's just like same thing buying a car, buying a house, doing anything you're doing where you got to pay the bill. And when you know, okay, I'm ready for this. I can take care of the bill. I can handle it. Yeah. Same way with them dogs. Like you got to make sure, like, but you ready for this? Because yeah, really. ain't no easy thing. Once you start taking them L's, boy, it's gonna hit you like it. Boy, it's gonna hit you hard. So, say you do spend ten. Do you feel like it's Guaranteed you gonna win or you can That's that I'm gonna say that's just on I'm saying that's just on a bare minimum number type, like of doing the right thing of getting something good. That's bare. That's like that's just like okay. Yeah, ten is ten is one of them numbers in the game to where that's where you that's that's a starting number, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like some people spend way more than that and ain't it don't do nothing. You might be done spent some money and get a dog that ain't worth it. Like you thinking like, okay, I got this dog just because and I say this too. If you thinking, okay, I'm going to just do this straight off the rip of, oh, I'm jumping in the game, so I'm going to spend this money. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. But you need to be next to the right people that can promote you and put you out there. Like, so when you do that, it's like, say, like, people get it wrong. Like, oh, I'm going to spend this, I'm going to spend that, and I'm about to make this and make that. But your, your camp is not in that position to make that money. You know what I'm saying? Like, the dog is there. But you're not there. You not on that level to where somebody gonna look at you and like, oh yeah, I want to spend that money with you. Mm-hmm. I want to, I'll do this and do that with you. So it's one of them things to where it's cool to spend that twenty five hundred to five k on a dog to build it and then start. Like that's why I say with females, I get a female by my females, and I'll take my females to all of the baddest studs out here. That's even if I gotta spend. 2515 well I say the bare minimum a thousand to five thousand on stud fees stud fees that's just thousand to five hundred for some sperm you don't know if that sperm good or not so mm. you're just taking a chance taking right a chance yeah. Yeah. well you spend so, that so 10 it's sort of like the drug game count, right? You and wouldn't want to. game wanna, that you in, it's the same way bro it ain't no different you just gotta build if you want to spend 10 you not gonna just take it from any. I know this nigga over here mm-hmm. got the. Yep. That's exactly yeah. How it go. Okay. I got you. Exactly how it go. Like yeah. it's it's just like right now. Like I'm y'all probably like I'm looking at a live with a live is on right now. If y'all see the live, this probably the cheapest you might find a dog. Get they do this every Friday. They call it a bully auction. If you go to if I hit you up straight up and I see you got this going on, like okay, but well, you got this bud. So like me going to Pittsburgh, going to pick up a dog. That's me going directly at somebody. So I had to pay what I had to pay. But on here, you might it's not that big. 
they gonna put their dogs on here, but still probably make what they make because they gonna start it off at a little, little nothing, five hundred thousand dollars, and they gonna just bid it up, bid it up. So you can win off of this, but it's one of them things where like if you really trying to make that money or you one of the people, you wouldn't even get on here because you already making that money. Okay. Like it's it's oh, okay. Okay. Set off. Oh, okay. Get on this. Okay. What's the most you ever paid for a dog and sold one for? The most I paid like when I first jumped in. When I first jumped in, it was me walk, me and your son walk going quick and Zay. We, really, we jumped we was like we came in around at the same time. Well we all came in around the same time because Zay was the one that introduced us to a dude up in on um, grill. Um, George And there was probably Man, the time huh? We wouldn't spend We probably wouldn't spend that About 1500 To about I want to say About 5000 At the most So that's really The highest I done paid For a dog Is like 5000 From George Like But other than that I probably ain't, Like this girl right here The one I just went and bought I did spend 85 on her That's that's the highest I done probably spent, um, Bought a dog For right now In the game but other than that, like I really, I'm more of a producer. Like I buy, I'm cool with buying, but I'm, I gotta find the right thing that I need and that I want. Like but that's probably eighty five hundred is the, probably the most I've spun on a like. That's what that's just what I just spent too. Like so, that's the highest I've spun. What about soul? What's the highest you sold one for? <laughs> just soul. Last like that's just what's the name like. I tell y'all the number, but I ain't gonna just say it on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've been saying we get in this pocket now. Now you start. I'm gonna tell y'all okay. the number. Like, I'm, I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to just show y'all. I don't know if y'all seen the post that went around, but I just sold a dog to one of the biggest counts in the dog game. So, like, it's going crazy right now. Oh, yeah, man, you got like I was your girl in the you side girl cause so <laughs> where you stash it back <laughs> quick. I had no screenshot. Okay. You just, you just see right there. I ain't gonna speak on it, but you just see right there. That's what I just that was just three weeks ago. You sold one for a million, y'all. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that was just three weeks ago though. You might have to you might have to rewind it back to see the beginning of it and stuff, but that was just like three weeks ago. And then that doll right there, I just screenshotted that doll right there. I can show you what that dog done made already within three weeks of selling that dog. And that's that dog, like, almost my money. But that's almost what I sold him for. Like, yeah, that was that's something. Almost, that's like almost what I sold a nigga for. Like, for real. Like, that's So shit. what you paying for her, though? Oh, or him? For the dog. Yeah. See, with him, I'm a so I'm a major producer. I'm, I'm big in the game. Like, you can be a breeder. Like, I tell people all the time, we can be breeders and all that stuff. But what sets you apart of being a breeder, a dog breeder, or anything that you're doing in life? You know what I'm saying? What sets you apart? So, I be, I'm being big on always being a producer, like, being on, um, like, I want my dogs to set apart. I got a vision in my head of what I'm trying to get to. So, like, with this dog right here, everything's so crazy with this dog that I sold. It's a male. That's, that's, that's a male that I sold. That's, like, my one of my first stuff. So getting in the game or trying to do not not even say my first stud, but that's like one of the first one that I knew that was about to take me to a different level. Like mm-hmm. one of my boys, he he nice, he doing his thing and all that stuff. But this one, as far as color preference, as far as structure, everything about the dog, it was going to take me to a different level. So look, when I when everything about him, it was real deal. Like this ain't even been a year yet. I'm talking about I I, I did this breeding on Christmas Day, like real spill. I jumped up. I had to breed in the raw snake. I was supposed to wait for this, the semen get shipped. I spent 2500 on the semen. So, waiting for it to get shipped. It gets shipped out, Ooh. but it gets stuck in Indianapolis. So, I look at the what's the name of the track, and it's stuck. Stuck the next day. My man's like, don't worry about it because um, he, he, he be pretty good. And, you know what I'm saying, it ain't bad timing. So, boom, I wake up the next morning. It's, it's Christmas Eve. Look at the box. It's stuck. I'm like, man, bump this. Like, okay, I called him straight out the bed. I am think I'm out the bed yet. I call him, like, bro, that box stuck. Like, you cool with coming to you? <laughs> well, it's how I just like it, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that box stuck. I'm like, man, you cool with me coming to you or whatever? Like, I right. jump on the road and got dog shoot to you. Jump on the road, shoot to him, go to Detroit, drive on um, straight out the bed, drive on um, 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 11 hours to Detroit. 
fool around, do the breed. We do everything. This usually you do like two. You surgicals, you do one, one of the on um, one AI with like the little the, the dissemination and stuff. But this we only did one, so it was a it was kind of tense. Then of like, okay, is it gonna take it? Should I, I make this trip for no reason? But end up having um four puppies. My girl, what's the name? End up losing two of them. Had two bars, but that's all I really wanted anyway. So I'm happy for the bars. End up selling one of the bars. This bar right here, every since I've been posting her, I've been getting high numbers. Like I've been getting them type of numbers. Everybody hit me. Oh, I got 15K for them. I got 20K for them. I got 25. I got 30. I got 40. Like, but I would never let them go. Like I've been waiting for these China jokers to come back. I just been waiting for them. Like, cause they've been <laughs> first when I was young, when he was first, they was the highest builders. They was like the highest ones to tell me 40K. So I'm like, okay, bump it. Like, I'm going to sit on this. So when I got to the point, like, okay, boom. Like, I ain't stressing it no more. I ain't thinking about it. I see them start back hitting, start back out all liking stuff and stuff. Till my girl one day, I'm like, man, I got um, China back on my line. I see they, they liking the dog. They seeing them and stuff. Yeah. Fool around one day. Man, I lose myself, but fool around one day, I'm... I'm chilling. What's the name? Get a phone call. Well, that's like three weeks ago. Get a phone call from this camp. And it's like the biggest camp in the dog game. But it's one of them calls you look at. Like, they calling me for. Like, I look at the phone. Like, I set it down. Believe it's like Facebook calls. You know how Facebook calls is? They ring for a minute. It go for a long time. So, I'm like, man, they would have been hung up by now. Like, yeah. answer the phone. I'm like, what's up? What, what, what are we talking? And they get to talking. Like, I'm like, hold up. Like, Nah, y'all tripping. Like I'm the type of person. Like I'm, a, I'm cool, humble to the situation, and everything. But my my adrenaline might be going so crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's like, boy, am I is you serious right now? But I'm gonna jump like I'm about to pass out. But I actually turned the turned the deal down. Like it was Christmas, not Christmas, but um, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving day. I'm sitting there eating. I'm sitting there thinking about it all. I t- and I, I make a Facebook post. As soon as I make the Facebook post, like, telling everybody, like, I'm going to go ahead and keep my dog. I'm going to go ahead. I'm happy for everything. I ain't really honoring the situation. They right. text me within two seconds. I'm talking about I ain't never been texted this fast with the <laughs> post being dropped. He like, oh, man, delete that post, man, if you can, man. We'll talk about it after Thanksgiving. And if we got to up the number, we up the number. That's where it went from. Oh, like, uh, okay. Like one of them things where, like, yeah. but you know, like, and these dudes right here, I can show you, like, they just posted a dog. Man, this dog got 62 lock-ins. And he's, I had this dog at 1,500. I got eight lock-ins. What's a, what, uh, what's a lock-in? A lock-in. Stud fee. Like, stud fee. If oh, I okay. put this dog out here at 1,500, the lock-in might be 250 to 500. Okay. Yeah. So I had them out there at 1,500, and my lock-in was 250. They got them. As soon as they bought them from me, they got them. This, this been three weeks. I done had this dog a whole motherfucking nine months now. <laughs> Man, they got them within three weeks. This dog got 62 lock-ins at $500. Damn. It's 31000 within three weeks, bro. Like, I'm telling you, they got most of they. They ain't gonna say most, but they got their money back. <laughs> <laughs> they got, they, they got that's why I tell you, Kyle, you tell you take that post down. That's why I tell you, it's a name with it. It's a it's a name and the dog. If you get the dog and you got the name already, it's gonna tune. It's gonna take off. So what this just also did for me, it's like it then went to another level. Like if you see my Facebook to where. Last week, I'm getting 100 to 200 likes. This week, I post one pitch, and that's almost at 500 likes. Right. So it's just like one of them things where people yeah. just, they jump to it. And if your dog do something to like, my dog wasn't even being talked about on no level. But now, I'm putting in brackets. Like, that's how the dog game is. Like, if y'all, who, who you feel like your biggest celebrity is? Who you feel like your biggest athlete is? Like, whoever you feel like, whatever you feel like your biggest, that's the same way these dudes is in a dog game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might not know the ins okay, and outs to it, but if I say well, you see the my bracket. biggest athlete, yeah. they my biggest, that's the biggest of them gotcha. in the West Nine. They call these dudes the Lamborghini boys. That's something okay. they drive. My dog okay. drove off in a Lamborghini, like, that's <laughs> somebody yeah. had me blow. Let me ask you oh, this. Go uh, ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go, uh, go. Like I said, man, you see, you know, I'm picking up a lot of what you putting down. Uh, you know, just out noise people, but you know, you talking over a lot of people here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, with the you you, you educating too though. But but I always ask my, you know, my people, I like, uh, can everything on the yard go? 
You know what I'm saying? Can everything I got, you know, for the right price, can it go? Okay. Basically, you saying is it something he loves so much they wouldn't part Let with? Let me finish. I say this. I say, you know, I, I got one homeboy who sold a dog. That I was like, damn, I thought you would have loved, you know, kept that dog. He was like, boy, I'm a dog breeder. I am not a dog lover. So mm-hmm. I asked, you know, and I can tell what type of, well, well, in my mind, I can tell what type of person I'm dealing with whenever they were like, but I can't let, I can't let Sally go, boy. You know, like, <laughs> you know, that's my dog right there. I'm like, okay, well, you a dog lover. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I am too. I mean, but, 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 you know, you're not a, you know, don't. You know. That's a good that's question. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's one of them things to where when it comes down to it, you being a breeder, say, okay, it happened with me to where. I love dogs. I always done love dogs to a point where it's like, okay, they my kids. I don't got kids. So it's like these dogs are to a level with me. It's like these are almost like my kids. So it's yeah. like I love them. But now getting to a point in the game, I had to understand that part of the game. Just like me selling this dog, I went and sold him a year ago, two years ago. <laughs> You'd have been like, that's my yeah, dog. Yeah, that's yeah, I love my, my dog. That's yeah. my boy. Like, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to sell him. But once you get in this game, just like his mama, his mama first offer, I was on, I was out, I've been outside with my dog. So that's how my name really got known with dogs. I was outside. I'm being everywhere, winning trophies, my girl in front of a magazine, everything. So with her, her first offer was 60K. Like she didn't have offers, but her highest was 60K. So people always ask me, like, why, why you didn't sell her? Why you didn't do this? But this, this was two years ago to where I'm transforming and I'm trying to get into a different lane with it. So if I would have sold her, I would have, Everything would have been over with for me. Like it wouldn't even be the same. Like from what she done did for me within these two years of her having that mail, okay, it, it sat it sat different. When I had that, when I bought the mother, I bought her mother. Boom, we did, we did, had a breeding. I sold the mother. I, I sold the mother for fifteen k. So when I sold her, I kept the whole litter. That was basically from what I put the the money in. Everything I had behind them dogs, it was basically just like my money back in my pocket, no profit. So boom, put that back in my pocket. It was like okay, I got them. It was basically like I didn't. It was one of the things where I look at it like I didn't pay for nothing. I just got three dollars for free, like mm. doing everything I did. So now with her, it's like, okay, I'm going to promote this dog, get her to a different level, push her like she a male. Now, when she had her son, I went to another top stud. His name is Burrito. I didn't say he's a, he was a top stud at the time, but now he's a top stud. So, like, going to him, people question me, like, why are you using that dog? Why are you using that dog? I seen these two dogs beside each other. So, doing that, it, it's like... It's, they give you a different look of everything. Like when you see them beside each other and everything. So when you producing this and you produ- producing, like people can produce things and it's not it. You can sit right here and say, oh, it's it, it's it, it's this and it. But when I produced this dog, I knew I had the next best thing off of this dog. Like I knew like it's one of them things to where he's he's his daddy's son, like for real. So when people see this, it was going to go to a different level. I knew like it was gonna be one of them things to where yeah it was gonna go this way go that way, but still it was never on a level like oh I'm thinking I want to get rid of him or I want to do this and do that. It was like man, boy, I look at this dog every day and be like, well, we about to get this money, boy. Yeah, every day okay, I look so at him every, like yeah. I so you like, answered it right there. Yeah, every day I look at this dog like, boy, <laughs> boy listen, boy, I can't wait for you to start got dog doing your thing, but we about to get it because yeah. every day I got somebody asking me about this dog like what's up with him. So then I got lock ins on y'all done made probably about five thousand off of y'all already. You ain't even bust a nut. So it's like, okay, boom, but we about to do the thing and stuff. But when I got that phone call, it was like, boy, okay, but it's one walk. <laughs> yeah. Look, but they're probably one of the smoothest and best transactions. As soon as I told them dudes and I took something, they like, just send me a picture of you on the plane. As soon as I sent them a picture of that dog on the plane, that's just a whoop, 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 whoop. I said, oh, Lord. Yeah, like, why? It's all coming this in. This one yeah. of the best transactions. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> like for real, bro. It was like I ain't lying to you when you when you really talking to somebody on that level, but it just be like, boy, y'all just like y'all I'm really eat, just yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like for real, bro. Like it's a it's a game change all the way around because people ask me still like, why did you say it, bro? Y'all gotta understand the biggest picture, and it's still right now. Like I'm the first nigga to sell these dudes a dog outside of anything that I did. They had the one of the biggest dogs in the world got the most kids in the world 
and they came and bought a dog for me. So it just, it really just messed up the game. Like if you see, if you in the dog game and you know and it made everybody, you bigger, like, yeah, yeah, the price going up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you a yeah. Legend, but like you just Damn. don't know what you just did. It's yeah, like, yesterday like fee, not today's like, fee. That's yeah. like us having a celebrity on here or something. Like that. Nah, for real, bro. That's why. I tell How long about. you uh been in the breeding game? Really, like all my life is for not breeding, but. As far as dealing with dogs, like I'm talking about getting to the when you start saying this, probably 16, 2016. Oh, okay. If you know, um, Lil Zay, um, Zay on um, Concessions, um, that's who made my Facebook, bro, in 2016. I wasn't, I never was with that on um, social media. I ain't care for social media. I always that type of person. Like I look at it, I see you looking and be mad because you want it. Like, like <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, um, say one day he he was telling me he like, bro, you um you need this, bro. Like you selling dogs and you doing this. I always and sold dogs around the city and stuff. But he like, bro, you need this and stuff. So I got on and start scrolling, looking at things and all this type of stuff. And that's where it really went from 2016 is like when I got into it. But and see, that's what I wanted. Cause see, that's what a lot of you know everybody here in the you know you know you on you don't jump on the other side of that thing now, mm-hmm. but you started sixteen like, somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that yeah. grind. You know, I, I, I mean, I don't know if you uh you know went straight off the back with that uh five thousand or eighty five hundred right off the back, but but nah, at first we was man, I was buying off five hundred dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, See, no, that's no, the I grind know. I'm talking about right now. That's nah, the that's nah, the grind. That, that, that was that transition. That was that transition of like, okay, man, I spent five hundred on this dog, that dog, but it ain't getting me nowhere. Then we run into somebody else that's way bigger than us doing their thing. Now we transition to spending fifteen hundred to five thousand. So like it's just one of them transition things. Like right. once you know, like once you know the game, you know what you gotta spend. You have keep to going. Learn. Like what you doing, what you doing. Let, but it's still let a market. Let me ask you oh, this though. With with you saying it's like the dope game, right? Many times niggas done bought a brick and got it home, it wasn't locking up. <laughs> Have you ever bought a dog and it wasn't what you thought it was? It go like that, bro. I, <laughs> I done had dogs. You go, you go and do a breeding. You might see something. You do one breeding and be like, boy, that that one click hard. Boy, it hit hard. But that that, that right there smack. Boy, that doing numbers. Boy, she jumping. But Sound like you talking about dope now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm trying to use this term. You know, yeah, like, right. oh. so it's like you know you so. It's one of the things where you know what it's doing, how it's high it, when it click when it click there, you you happy. You feel like okay, it might keep going. But now you go and do another breeding and you do it and it's like, boy, this ain't doing nothing. Like and then you look at it and it's like one of them things where you know you don't have a situation to where you gotta get time to do this and do that. Then you gotta like this the same thing with breeding, bro. You gotta you gotta give it that time to okay, it's gonna pop like this, it's gonna pop like that. I gotta I just right now, like I got a dog where we was probably about the beginning of the year. I got one that I gave away off a of raffle, just like y'all go and follow me here, go and follow me this, go on my, on my social media. And man, the crazy thing about it, talking about this, the same dudes, all of their dogs, if you go and look at these dudes, every one of their studs is 5K a piece. Every one of them, you, you ain't using them one of their dogs without spending 5K. I split it, but between everything that I had to do, it came up to probably about 8,500 I put into the breed. That, that litter, I gave it away. I didn't make no money off that litter. That's I, I gave it away. It wasn't one of them ones to where I seen like, okay, it was going to benefit me or it was worth it. I seen that. It, it's like, okay, boom, I'm going to give it away. Like, So I just gave them all away. They're like, okay, follow me here. Do this and do that and stuff. But then turn around, they came and spent bad. Like, so mm-hmm. it was like, I don't yeah. know how it all played out or what went wrong. Like, it's not went wrong, but how this played out. But it was crazy because I gave them. If you go, I, that was the, the first YouTube video I ever dropped. I, that was the last one. But see that? But that's the posted it. And that was at the beginning of the year. I want to say that was the beginning of the year. I gave the dog away. And by the end, like, they have been the end of the year. And came back. Mm. What's um what's some of the top names that people should be looking for, like far as high quality dogs, far as in that I'm gonna say if you're looking for dogs and this is just my preference, but once you get in and start tuning into it, you're gonna see what you what I like might not be what you like. What I love might not be what you love. So it's gonna be one of them things okay. so once you start tuning into it and you understand it, you will know. But right now, dogs that's running the game, crown. You got Burrito, KB, 
Kobe, Murder Baby. You got um the Dizzy Devil Blood. You got you got a lot of dogs. Like, and I ain't doing saying no names, not excluding anybody, but them probably like some of the biggest names, the Sensei Blood, all that like X Stats line. It's a it's a lot of dogs that's really just doing their thing, but you gotta tune into it and know exactly what you which Let way me you're do, trying to okay. go. Okay. Let me do this right here. I think Noah asked this. Who the best in Greenville? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm saying some other honorable mentions then. Yeah, you know what I mean? Not, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say I'm the best, but when it comes to mentioning names, you're gonna definitely hear my name come when it's speak, when it's speaking on Greenville, this area, and all that. <laughs> you definitely hear my name. But names that I gotta give it up to and they doing their thing and they standing on business with it is my dog, 2EK, D, D Glory. Okay. Gloria is okay. my friend. Like he he started off with Honeycomb doing his thing, man. Honeycomb took off and took him to a different level. Then he he, he being producing studs. See, he's a stud person. Like, see, I told you I started with females. He a stud person. He do his. He like the boy dog. He like boys. So okay, like, boys gonna bring, boys can bring you consistent money all day, every day. Mm. Like so, like and that's he, what I'm hearing. Yeah, the stud yeah. fees is hell. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. Even though you, you know the the. The elementary mind think I need the girl dog so I can have the puppies sell yeah. the puppies. They ain't think about selling the what make the puppies. Right, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So if you got it. And from what I'm hearing, y'all locking them numbers, like like it's a fee just to just to be able to have a chance to do it. Yeah, so if say if I drop my stuff and I say this what he is, and this I ain't drop mine. Like I like as far as dropping price, I ain't. I'm not one of the people that drop price. What it is is what it is. So if I drop a stud fee, he fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred. Like like I say, lock in might be twenty five, twenty five, two fifty to five hundred. So boom, you locking in. You gotta like. It's one of the things like people won't understand the lock ins. The lock ins is is cool. Like it's a it's a cool front end money that you making. I really want that that hump. This, I'm ready to bring. Yeah, you want to. Yeah, you want to love some. Yeah, I want that all right. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Boy, Don't yeah. bury feed me. <laughs> Let me get mine out. Like, like, you can yeah, lock it is. It's cool, but sometimes them people don't even come use the dog. You might lock it in at four five months early. And then yeah. you see four five months down the line that it's a whole different dog that you want to use. But that lock in money is just like any other deposit. It's gone once it once you yeah. lock it in. And well, like a gym no membership. Call back and say, "Oh, I want yeah. this. I want that." I remember I did somebody like that when I first jumped in the game. Hey man, can I get my money back? I see. Another puppy, I want. Man, you ain't getting that. Like, <laughs> yeah. You got me blown. Like, oh, yeah. man, I had to learn that part of the game. So Just like that you. nigga with that brick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He ain't gonna want to get none of that. You ain't getting no money back, though, for real. That, that, once <laughs> you seeing that money, it's it's out there. Like, but you you caught that that price. You caught that at that time. Like, cause the price don't always stay the same. Like I said, if it started fifteen hundred, it can go up to five k tomorrow. Yeah. Like, just depending on how they move and how they coming with their dogs and stuff like that. So that's the biggest thing. You got Nick Collins. Speaking of being at fifteen hundred. Speaking on hearing your name, that's actually how you got here. I got a homeboy who yeah. messed with the dogs. He was telling me about you, and so, I said I got to yeah. reach out. Devin right, wrote Bulldogs. You know, you know, seen him. I probably do, man. I got. I got to so see you some and stuff. Like I said, I've been knowing who I've been knowing about your podcast, been knowing about everything and stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, you know I've been I done been okay. around your son for ever since we been we been younger. Like we done definitely oh. been around each other okay. doing this for show. Sure. Like I, he had one dog that I ran three girls to. I ran three girls to his one stud. And it was like just coming, you know how we was coming up doing our thing, and he was fooling with George hard. But I always tell told them, bro, we gotta stop fooling with George, bro. Like George is cool, but we gotta expand. We gotta go bigger. Like George is cool for what we got going on, but we gotta go for this little shit right here. Yeah, yeah I said George yeah, good for that, but we tried to get out of it. That's real. Yeah, for you real. Up there with all yeah, all the yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay, I heard about him then. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. 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 I don't hear about that. But as far as Expanding, we couldn't stick right there. We couldn't stay right there because, like, he do what he do, but you gotta, we gotta go bigger than that. We gotta, right? Spread it's a ceiling, yeah. Silly, yeah, yeah. It's same thing, like, even still now, no, that he bro hit me like, boy, you, you did this and you did it, but I told y'all, but I wasn't letting up off of this. But I don't know how it's gonna play out, but I wasn't letting up no time soon, my boy. And, and see, my, my thing with the dogs is, I. I, I never could understand it. I thought niggas was doing getting dogs just to fight them. 
It, you know what I'm saying? That's where I come from, though. From the fighting. That's where I come yeah. from. Man. Oh, that's okay. the lane, like, I don't know. It's not, I, that ain't as heavy no more. My my uncles then was into it heavy when we was young. Mean, I used to raise, I used to, my uncles would go out of town, and I might be at their house for probably about a week or two taking care of dogs. This between three yards taking care of 100 to 150 dogs between three yards. Right. So it's like. That's, I come from it, like seeing all that, but same thing like right now. Like I told my people, I tell even my brother, like I always done told them, so like they, they real believers now because I always told them like, but once I learned this game, I didn't know nothing about nothing. But once I seen the backside of it, of just what I'm thinking about right here and like what's in my face and what's on the streets around me, once I seen the back end of it and I'm really tuning in and scrolling, seeing these groups and doing everything, I'm telling them like, bro, it's the same game, but we don't have to, you know, you don't got to get your dog bloody. You don't got to yeah, do none of it. Yeah. Like, bro, you just got to produce some bad dogs, promote them, show them, and it's going to sell for them numbers that you're trying to go out there and fight for and stuff like this. So that, the one thing they wouldn't understand, like, people don't understand, I want to scratch. I want to man, bump dead. I don't want my dogs to do nothing. That's, that's not, I, I don't want to scratch I, on them. No, yeah, they, yeah, might that's not, they might not do nothing. Like I, I remember, I remember when I was coming. This was like eighty nine, ninety. You know what I'm saying, nigga. Uh, in our neighborhood, nigga named Mike Wright. Mike Wright used to goddamn have his dogs with a big goddamn chain. Brick. That chain goddamn is, is, is attached to a tire. Yeah, with a I, brick I in the middle of the tire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, walking this motherfucker and <laughs> yeah. walking this dog and goddamn. Yeah. You know, that dog pulling that hundred degree weather. You know what I'm saying? Dog got yeah. damn chest yeah. up. Yeah, been like got damn cow down. Killer though. Did y'all get to see any of them? I saw some like we had a like little. It was a bamboo. It was a bamboo trail, trail back there. Niggas would go in, in between them goddamn uh, bamboos and goddamn. You couldn't see nothing. But man, they would have they would let them out. I hit them probably right. those times at training times, like because that's one of the biggest things you got. When it's the time and you know, okay, this this guy about to go on, man, you might be walking for miles. You might yeah. be doing all type of stuff with yeah. the dogs, man, just to get them right. I'm like, nah, I'm tired of this, bro. I, <laughs> yeah. I love the dogs and stuff like shit, that. Yeah, that's a, why you bullshit. Mike walking too, now. Like, he get his shit with the dog. Yeah, I want to see yeah. what you said. Yeah, 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 okay. When it's like that with them type of dogs, like, yeah. Niggas got lazy. They yeah. Get- it ain't the same. It, it, the game just done changed so hard to where yeah. if you was doing it and you see the this side of it to where you don't have to do that and still make good money off of it, yeah. they ain't doing it no more. Like so, it like, ain't no more money in the fighting. It probably is on the, I, but I couldn't Can't tell. You. I, yeah. can't, I don't know. Like yeah. it probably is because shoot, them them dogs are still out there. Like you, it's just a lane. Like just like I say, if you bring that, that's what we call game bread dogs. If you bring game bread dogs, you bring the American bullies. You bring exotic bullies. It's a lane for every dog. You bring poodles, rock rollers, German shepherds. It's a lane for every dog. It's just you gotta build it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's just one of them things you gotta build it. But it's a lane for everything. And I still don't know how I train. Transform and got to where I got to because I did, I came from game bread dogs going to the American bullies and now I'm at where I'm at. But it's like I probably, I don't I definitely didn't think I'd be where I was at right now. Like I thought I'd definitely still be dealing with like American bully style mm. pit bull style dogs. Like well, I thought I definitely I never thought I'd be dealing with this because we bought dogs way back. We used to buy dogs out the classifieds, out look in the paper, go through. We done ran across one of these dogs at a young age, but we looking at it like man, I don't want that. Like we end up still buying it, but probably about. A week later, the dog was so strong and messing up things. She went nothing, probably about like that big and so strong, messing up every ivory cage we put in, and we got rid of the dog. And I ain't ready for them. I yeah. ain't trying to deal with them at all. That have price you, don't jump. Have way you up. ever got? Have you ever got something cheap that somebody didn't know what they had, and you fucked around and got some? <laughs> you ready across the sucker? Yeah, I nice. didn't really know what was going on. I ain't caught one of them yet, but this is this is what this auction is about, man. This kitchen one of them. Oh, okay, man, these niggas okay. here on this auction right now. The niggas that run it think they so slick. I fool with them. They're my boys, <laughs> but they think they so slick. Okay, they, they got top studs in the game. So, like, the way they money come, it's cool. Like, they money probably come good. Where they can just really flip some shit. They can go back and forth buying dogs. Man, they on here buying dogs that's worth at least 10 to 15K for about two to 5,000. 
That's that's like mm. them good numbers. Them are great numbers to be buying a dog at, and they buying them up. I'm talking about they ain't giving nobody no chance. You drop a bid on there, they overbid. They got all them. They ain't giving <laughs> nobody no chance. Boy, Damn. I swear. That's the game, though. That's how they play that, poker. That's the game, yeah. man. Listen, yeah. bro, Whoever got the most money win. But that's how it is, bro. I ain't lying to you. Like I tell them, they, they expect it for me. Man, I ain't about to get in there and jump back and forth with them jokes, man. I ain't about to run. I'm, 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 I ain't going to lie to you. I'm a cheap nigga. Like, if I can catch something that cheap price, just like right now. Now you see what it say, forty five hundred right there. Yeah. Go to five thousand, you see it forty five hundred right there. Uh, okay. That's the bid price so far. Go about five, six thousand, I'm up out of there. I ain't even trying to keep bidding. Like now, yeah. I, mean, I ain't about to run me up like that. That's the that's the whole point of this option. Bump that. Nah, I'm trying to catch me something at a good price. Damn, and see, man, the only thing I would talk to, but they but the most what what well 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 I take that back. I do know a nigga went with with it went pretty big, uh, uh, but but most of the niggas, but but fifteen hundred, but that's all they won't spend. So, but when they hear this, they gonna, yeah, you know I mean, they gonna be like, damn. Wait, bro, I'm gonna be real with you, and this just been real. And I ain't saying this just to say it myself. I always done being a powerful breeder. I always done tried to make the next move. I ain't never been one of the people that try and sit in the same position. It's always like, okay, what's next? Like, okay, I did it this way. How it's going to come harder the next time? So, like, a lot of people right now, it, it's, it be the problem with them. It's not that you, you got to go and breed to this person or buy from this person doing things like that. But y'all see what somebody got going on, and you think, okay, I'm about to run to somebody that's over their head, bigger than them and stuff like that, and I'm going to buy from them. But you don't know that these people that's bigger than me, I'm somebody that's smaller than them, so I, I got to put everything out there. I can't hide nothing. I got to mm-hmm. show you what's real because if I hide it or if I show anything, it's not going to go nowhere for me. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like It's going to be one of them things to where it's like I'm still going to be in my position. Like I'm still going to be sitting wherever I'm at with it. So these other people can get a dog and never come outside, never show the dog, never post it or nothing like that, but drop one picture and everybody on it. Just like I told you, I sold a dog to one of the biggest count. That's, they just post, they even post a picture of the dog. Only thing they got is the sale of the dog when we all together. But this dog got 65 lock ins. I made 35, let me say um, 31,000 within three weeks. It's that's just be a hype thing. So like some people go and run to, I'm going to go to this big kennel and I'm going to buy this dog, but you run into them and not knowing what you're getting into and buying bull, straight BS. That <laughs> yeah. You could have came to me and spent way less than that and got something mm. way better than that. So mm. they ain't not even saying me, but that's just, that's just the game. Like people would do that. They can be sitting right beside you and see what you're doing and do, doing this, doing it, or oh, look at them, oh, they doing this, they doing this, or oh, they got a bigger name, so I'm going to run to them, and man, you got biz. I know people right now in this city walking around by bitch they won't show their dog. I promise you, like, they ain't going <laughs> to pull them out because you don't went and did the wrong thing, bro. You know, I went and bought some real Man, beers. I know uh, uh, I hung up about a dog from England or some shit, you know what I'm saying, uh, of a came back three weeks, uh, uh, Frenchy, you know what I'm saying? Came back three weeks, breathing hard, you know what I mean? Shit like that. My mother died, you know what I'm saying? But money was gone. Gone, bro. How much was it? Did you know? Uh, I thought like 4500 or something. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Money was gone. That be the problem, bro. That's why I really just went and drove and got my dogs. That's, that's like, it, it don't even have to be that the dog had issues, bro. The dog just might have had transport issues, anxiety yeah. and stuff yeah. like this. Oh, so. okay. But he was communicating with them, them though. Is it a, what is you looking for when you go pick up a dog? Is it something like, my, like the it, see if it's... You talking about as far as health-wise? Yeah, as like, far as... It's, it's health wise you, You'll know if your dog Unhealthy Like definitely If a nigga going to buy a dog You know that just It's dysfunctional Ain't moving right Ain't breathing right And you buy a dog still That's just on you That's your okay. yeah. Now if I look at this dog And I can't tell That internally Something going on And all that type of stuff And then Within the next couple of days All of a sudden The dog died Or anything like that That's like Yeah something was going on With the dog But as far as Like Personally, physically looking at this dog, like you should know, like you should know. Gotta exactly. have that train eye. Yeah, you gotta know, like you, yeah. it's with these dogs. You see it. You gonna pretty much see something wrong with the dog, unless you buy without going to get the dog. Just, just like what just happened to me. I do could have still got me just the other day. The dog that I came back with wasn't the dog I was going to buy, but pull up. He like, bro, I didn't want to tell you on the road. He was like, but I let the dogs out and she ate rat repellent. He was like, so. 
I'm gonna have to if you want it, he's like, this is my pick, and that's the that's the thing about it. I still got his first pick at a cheaper number. So it's like you can have okay, you still, because, okay. Like, that's yeah. right here happened and stuff like yeah. that. So like, but it was like one of the things he could have let me get the dog move along and yeah. something happened within the next couple of days and cause looking at her, she was cool. Everything straight by it. But I know I done seen dogs do that before and within the next couple of days they start going down yeah. and stuff. So he could have hey, you got a lot of games in this one. Man, I appreciate you coming to kick it with him, man. You done you done taught us so much. I feel like I'm I'm halfway to ready dangerous. to goddamn, you know what I mean? Love to be dangerous. And I know the people watching got a lot from it. Um, tell tell everybody where to follow you at and anything you want them to know or whatever. My name is Chaotic South Hollis on Facebook and Instagram, spelt with a K, K A O T I C South, Chaotic South Hollis. But man, you know, just check me out. You'll see everything is what it is, man. Ain't no capping, ain't no faking in what we doing. The dog lovers gonna love this. One. Yeah, they gonna yeah, love. That's why I mean, I, on. I try to reach back out to the people, man. Because once you just tuning into breeders, it get to a you boxing yourself in. So yeah. I want to reach the, the nigga people. who was thinking about breeding. Now he finna. Yeah, if I push him on the edge. While we talking about the dog, follow my partner on IG, Velvet Rope Bulldogs. He yeah, got man. that heat. And so he definitely one salute to him, man. Yeah, definitely, man, for sure. Velvet Rope Bulldogs and um. Hey man, I might need a little help buying one of these dogs. You know what I'm saying? Boy, it's cost you. Hey man, the cash app is Talk is Talk Podcast, man. The YouTube Talk is Talk Podcast 864. Y'all want to hear us speak on anything? Talk is Talk Podcast 165 at Gmail. Talk is Talk on. Damn, I feel like I done. Talk is Talk 1 on Twitter. Talk is Talk Podcast on IG. Talk is Talk on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, is this thing on? Madden. Talk is talk. Talk is cheap. I talk is talk because I walk the walk when I run the streets. I pay my dues. True OG. Say what you say, never to my face, nigga, you know me, you know me Talk to talk, talk to cheek I talk to talk, cause I walk to walk when I run the streets I pay my dues, true OG Say what you say, never to my face, nigga, you know me, you know me, you know me